Today we are going to be going into Kern's Tower. To get to Kern's Tower, you need to go into Field of Bone. Uh, it's like the starting zone for Ixars. And uh, if you run through the starting zone down the path, you'll everyone knew like everyone's probably seen this. If you've been anywhere in Field of Bone, you know this big pit that's like in the middle. So if you run northeast of the capital city, you'll see this big structure here. This is Kern's Tower. So this is how you get to it. Kern's Tower is a zone you can probably start. Uh, you can you can start at about I would say level twelve. However, uh, some of the mobs, like you have to be very careful. I think it's just the scale bone skeletons. You can you can actually start only start fighting at level twelve. But yeah, we're going to go inside and let's take a look. This zone is good from level 12 to level 20. And you can see we we are in an, we are an 18 monk right now. So we only have about two more levels left here. Let's head on in. This is the entrance. So once you come into Kern's Tower, there are two mobs that spawn on the left and right. And this is like kind of the lower floor. Uh, in here, you have mobs. One's called a greater skeleton. Uh, there's a bunch of mobs that spawn in here, but I actually just cleared them out. So one's called um, a greater skeleton, another one's called like scale bone skeleton. Scale bone skeletons are lower level and greater skeletons are uh, higher level. This room on the right side, there's two, there's about two, five spawns that are in here. And as you can see, my spawning timers, I set it at eight minutes and 30 seconds because I think for the whole zone, all mobs spawn, respawn at 18 minutes and 30 seconds. And then in this room, there is, there's two mobs that spawn right here and here. There's this way to go upstairs. So it's a tower, right? So it goes what like there's stairs and it go, like goes way up. And then on the right side, this leads to what's known as the basement. And I think down there's only uh, these people. You can see them casting. They're called Burine Burrowers. Unfortunately, those will. Uh, so there's a faction for them. Now, if you kill one, I think it's like you destroy your faction forever. Because I don't think there's a way to increase your faction with them at all. So, I've already... Um, they are on the same faction as the guys that are outside in Field of Bone. They look like badgers. And these guys... If, so, if you don't kill any of them, they, this is what they look like here. I'm not going in there because I actually don't want him to, uh, to attack me. They kick your butt, even if they're blue con... For me, at least, they kick my butt because they're uh, they cast magic on you, and I guess my magic resistance is low, or I don't know. But I fought it once; it was like a blue con, and it brought me from like 100% health down to almost died. So I was like, I think I got like actually down to 1% health, then I got knocked unconscious, and then I luckily survived. But I'm like, I'm not going down there again. So there's one that spawns here as well. So if th I've seen one spawn here sometimes, but I guess you know more scale bone skeletons can spawn in here. So as I said, that's the entrance. There's some mobs in there. There's some mobs in here. If you go, there's three mobs that spawn on the side here. If you go down the stairs, it's the Burinai guys. I avoid it because I can't deal with the people who cast. They just kick my butt. There's sometimes a Burinai that uh, is spawns in there, and apparently there's a skeleton that spawns in there. Three skeletons spawn at each staircase, so the staircase is over here and here. But there's also an interesting spot back here, which I always forget about. But there's lots of nice mobs to pull from back here. So there's what, one, two, three, four, oh, four. Oh, I just face pulled this one, but that's okay. So four skeletons that spawn back here. So 
So now we'll, since we started clearing this room, we'll start the other timer. Doink. So I'll just keep a mental note that this second timer is for this, for this room. And this box is just tripping out. All right, let's go clear the room. Let's try. Hopefully, this man works. Nice, man. We have like hardly any downtime, as long as man works. So this room should be spawning. Yeah, buddy. Ah, we don't need to pull it out that far. Just... Uh, see, yeah, we should have pulled it out because there's this one here. That's okay. I know there's only one roamer in here. Only one roamer. And after we kill this one, we'll start the timer for this room again. Down. So it'd be like double kill. <laughs> Luz is still the top? How? I guess because he chatted a lot. I don't know. 14 more days. Actually, was watching someone playing Sea of Thieves. Uh, so that's interesting. I think we got to clear these guys out. Because these guys can be placeholders for uh, the other skeletons. I mean, I'm gonna stop sneaking, reactivate it, sneak. Okay, I guess it's that. We're gonna go explore the basement, the area I said to never go to. And of course I'm gonna do it when I'm, oh shoot. Oh, well, they're green at least, so they, their aggro radius should be low. Okay, so we're in the basement, this is the front part. This guy's the one that kicked my butt before casting. Oh no. I'm gonna. Pretty sure I'm gonna die down here just from trying to. Look around, but okay, we got this room, and then if we go to the side, make sure we cut this corner tight so he can't see me. What? I th it didn't say it failed. Oh, no. No! Ah! Training coming to zone. Train incoming. Why are they still attacking me? Oh, it says fall into the ground. Okay. Watch out, Uki. Oh, if they start a caster. Yes, yeah, someone told me about the cast thing. <laughs> Pull. You should probably pull. Ah, now we got sicken on us. Well, I guess I can out bandage the damage. Out bandage the damage. The things I do for a YouTube video, huh? <laughs> do it between casts. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna go upstairs. So don't go in the basement. Don't go in the basement. And I already showed the other areas. So we're going to go upstairs now and see the mobs that exist, exist up here. So we got the snake. The snake room. I think, yeah, both these stairs lead up to this middle room. And then we have the middle room. Uh, I know there's a couple mobs that spawn around here. I think someone else has been here, though. So we'll try the left side first. So the left side. All right. Again, it's both. Either you go left and go up these stairs, or the right side goes up uh, some stairs. 
and then it splits off. So we'll stay on this level before going up another level. And we're going to take any loot we see. Oh, what's that one? Ixar skull with an X? I've never seen that, so I will take that and look it up later on the wiki. So to the right side, this from you know my limited knowledge of Kern's Tower so far, but uh, I've seen groups sitting here, and I think one time I was yeah I was here with a, a paladin last night. This seems like if you're we can fight this actually. Um, this seems like a good spot to have your group kind of camp at and then have your puller just go around and collect stuff and bring it back here. I think you have access to, as you'll see later on, there's um, rooms on the side, like with doors, and I think you can pull stuff from that kind of other room that was uh, a flight of stairs below. Don't, don't jump down the pit in the basement. Okay, I'll also let people know that. <laughs> Some people set up their their group on the top floor. Okay. Oh, that failing mend. I'm gonna take a quick look to see if that other set of stairs over there led to this room as well. So we'll go this way. Get a good lay of the land, you know. Go up one set of stairs. Oh, here's a group. I guess that's a spot to... We'll try to be sneaky, sneaky past this guy. No. Eh, whatever. <laughs> okay, it, there we go. So that leads there. So if we check out this floor... We'll stick to the right. So there's one door here that leads to a room with beds. Uh, there's definitely some mobs in here. <laughs> So again, that's good to be pulling into the other room. The if your group set up down those stairs, then that's a good uh, room to go in and pull from. So much stuff. All right, let's continue our journey. As we continue down the hall, there are there's another door here. Let's see who's in here. We've got another, it looks like three skeletons. And these guys, I'm level 19 and they're conning blue. So I think if you're level like 17, you should probably want to, level 16 or below, you probably want to stick downstairs because these mobs here are like, you know, they'll probably con white to you at level 17. We have another door with, looks like, ooh, Two mobs in there. This door, I'm pretty sure, is leads to. Oh, what's up, buddy? That one leads to the other room we looked at with the beds, the first door we saw on the left. And then back there, I know there's like, I think two spawns back here. You can single pull them, yeah, because they're not social, right? Yeah, it looks like there's two spawns in that room. Continue down the hallway. And I think this just loops back around to the uh, area that I was saying where you can pull people, pull the mobs. Yep, so that's this floor. And then we'll continue up the stairs. Go to the next floor. So I think this is floor two that we just looked at. Now we're going up to floor three. Floor three. Thankfully, there's some people up here, so I don't have to fight mobs. Uh, there's this room here, and I know these ice bone skeleton, lesser ice bone skeletons, are pretty high level. Uh, that one probably, well, it's probably just a blue, but it's a, like a dark blue to me. And then we'll go up here, and this is, I think. Uh, Someone else was mentioning that some groups set up at the top. So I think this is known as the top. So right when you come up, 
on the left side is a room uh, and then to the right is this room here it's a bunch of skeleton spawns and i remember i came up here once there was some weird small mole that was running around called like odd mole i still have no idea what he drops i wanted to kill him but someone in my group was trying to preserve their burian faction or the badger faction so i was like oh, i shouldn't pull him just so it doesn't ruin the other guy's faction but i was very curious to see what that guy might have dropped for another time perhaps i'll come back here and uh and see if he spawns watch it be some like super rare mob that i probably could have dropped an item and over there the rocks i'm pretty sure you can't go beyond them so we'll continue and is that it we're back at the stairs and these stairs will go down so that is looks like that's Kern's tower for you we're gonna run over here and check out the other side just to make sure so we came to the top of the stairs and there's this way yeah this room then we'll go up these stairs over here Yep, and that was just another way up here. So there you have it, guys. That's Kern's Tower. Uh, I am spend. I'm spending level. I think it was level twelve to level twenty, was what this area is recommended for. I had a great time leveling here. I was getting about uh, doing my spreadsheet here. A level every. A level every hundred minutes. <clears throat> really enjoyed the zone don't know of any you know avoid the basement but i don't know of any like special mobs other than that odd mole that i saw over there so that is all for this video for those watching on youtube as i'm editing and we're all, we have some people here hanging out on twitch as well while i'm leveling and giving me tips like just don't go to the basement See you later, YouTube.